everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you a brief video of my favorite watercolor things for right now. Um, and these, as I'm a beginner learning to watercolor, trying to branch out and actually learn how to do more than just color in my stamps, although I'm still doing that too, um, but as I'm trying to learn how to actually um, freehand my own watercolors. Um, these are the things that I find that I'm using and I really like. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this little book. Now this little book is a book that's handmade by a particular art um, supply store. This is from St. Louis Art Supply and I saw this advertised on either Instagram or Facebook or something and um, I've, it comes in other sizes as well um, but um, I knew that this was a size I wanted to try and I put it on my Christmas wish list and um, my son actually got it for me for Christmas. I'm just now, even though it's May, um, I just started using it this month. I've been a little bit intimidated to try, but I finally decided I'm not going to learn if I don't try. So I went in and I did some YouTube explorations and so this is where I am putting my learning journey. journey. I really like the thickness of these. Now if I'm doing a lot of practicing, this just gives me so far what I'm doing with it is uh, techniques, but when I'm practicing those techniques, I'm pulling out my Canson XL or other watercolor paper to actually do it. So, um, but I'm loving these and then I'm excited because by the time I get through the thickness of this, hopefully I will have learned some things about watercolor um, and I will see the progress that I'm able to make. This is a palette that I've had for quite some time. Now, um, these, like many people, I started out with these 99 cent palettes that you can get at any craft store. Um, and these are great because they have a lot of holes in them. But I, as I'm learning to start mixing colors and stuff, I find that for me, these don't mix well. Um, and so um, when I found this, and I've had this for probably a couple of years or maybe a year or two, not sure um, and I really like it and I'll I'll use it and um, I used it at Christmas last year and actually put distress ink refills in it um, and watercolored with those um, but um, and I really like it and it mixes beautifully but as you can see there's not a lot of real estate in there so you, it's they're deep wells um, but for mixing and spreading out and mixing lots of colors I discovered it wasn't working now I had uh, thought about um, you know, getting a bigger palette and stuff. And I ran across somewhere several months ago about people using ceramic tiles. And so I went at that time um, uh, when I said I was going to try this. And for some reason, I couldn't find them at my particular home store that day. And I kind of gave up. And then I just haven't really had a lot of time. Um, so when I was on vacation, I took some time. I went to my local Lowe's and I found these two. Now these um, are just inexpensive. I wanted white so that it wouldn't kind of skew the colors at all so that I could see what I was mixing. This one is 12 by 4. This one is 6 inch uh, square. Um, just ceramic tiles. Um, and I have loved it. Um, I've been using them on the last, um, I, I've done quite a bit of watercoloring in the last couple days. And um, I found that the, they mix really well on here. And then, you know, when I need more space um, and I don't want any of these colors, I can just rinse them off. Um, but all I would have to do to activate these would be just to get them wet. And so as long as um, I don't need them for anything in particular, I'll just leave them here because you never know when you need a little spot of paint that you want. Um, you can see I did some mixing here to get some different green uh, tones there. So really liking this. Now the best part about using these for a palette, um, I'll told my cost on those, tax, everything for both of them, I think was a less than a dollar and a half. Um, definitely less than two dollars for both of these. Now I believe when I bought this particular one, um, what well, was pre-pandemic, I was at a um, I was in a city that had an art supply store, and I want to say I paid either four or eight dollars for this. So, great, great option, very economical, and um, a lot of us have um, home stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, those kind of things, much more available to us than we have art supply stores. 
Um, so that's what I'm currently using as my palette. So my favorite paper, my favorite palettes um, I have in front of me. Now, um, something I picked up, I was at a um, scrapbook supply show of all things, and I found this little, I think it's it's by Faber-Castell, this little portable water cup. kind of wish I had a couple of them. I think this was the only one they had. Um, at that particular show, but it collapses and it's really nice for travel. Um, and um, when I was on vacation, it was really nice because it doesn't take up a lot of space and I could just toss it in my bag. So that's just kind of fun. I don't use it when I'm sitting here at home. I have some glasses that I had picked up just at a, um, just like a regular store um, that I like to use. But anyway, it's just kind of fun. So I would say my favorite traveling water pot would be this. And then right now my favorite paints. Um, I am loving these Kurataki paints. Um, and this is the small set. I purchased this uh, shortly after the new year. Um, I, it had been on my wish list for quite a while um, just because of the these were the 12 colors out of this particular set that I didn't have because I also have the larger set. So I would say that these Kiritaki um, paints are definitely my favorite paints right now. And between these two sets, you know, you've got 48 colors here. Um, you've got a lot of colors and by the time you start mixing, lots of things you can do with them. Plus then you've got some metallics here that you can work with. So um, what I... I mean, it's not the same as having the portability of the smaller travel pans, but most of us, especially right now, aren't traveling a whole lot. So um, to work with, I just love the creaminess of these te uh, these paints. Um, and I'm not a professional artist, so they definitely have picked up from, you know, the really inexpensive paints that I had in the past. Um, and I have some other great paints, but right now these are my go-tos. And then the last couple things are my current favorite brushes. Um, now, this particular brush, I think I just picked up um, at Joann's, I believe. And this one, um, I'm not even sure I can read that right now because it's late. But it, I believe it says uh, Royal and something. I'm not sure what it was. But this is my number six brush. Um, and I just picked that up. I, like I said, I think it was from Joann's. I really like these two. And these are the only two of these that I have. This is my number four. No, I think I have a third one. I have a zero, I believe, in this brand. Um, but it, these are silver white brushes, and I have them in two and four round. And like I said, I think I also have them in zero round. And then for most of my, uh, any other sizes that I use, um, I just have these uh, low, low and Cornell round brushes. Um, I have some sitting on my desk. I have a whole thing of brushes because not knowing what I was doing, I've um, bought um, different brushes at different times, never spending a lot of a lot of money on them. And these are some of the better brushes that I've bought. These these over here. Um, and so you know, eventually I will add to and kind of grow my collection a little bit. But for now, um, these are kind of what I'm grabbing for most things. Um, just that two, four, and six seem to be, with the things that I've been working on, my go-to brushes. So um, I have really enjoyed using these things. So those are my favorite watercolor um, things right now. You know, my paper, my, my paints. Um, it's a journey for me. Um, I definitely consider myself to be more of a crafter and not really an artist. I'm trying to broaden that a little bit. So what are you trying to broaden? Um, what are your favorite things? Um, go ahead and uh, put a comment down below and tell me what your favorite uh, crafty thing is right now. Are you starting into watercolors? What are your favorite watercolors? Um, let us know. Let us know what you're into right now. Um, you know, I we all need some time to get away from the stressors of life and be able to enjoy some of our favorite crafty things or other favorite hobbies and this is just one way that we can share that with others so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye